Hi VC, <coughs> I'm back again. Part two. Um, right, let's have a run through. Uh, there was another gig I went to as well, and uh, it was a tribute to Sandy Denny. It was called The Lady, a homage to Sandy Denny, and it was at Warwick Art Centre. It's Warwick Art, yeah, Warwick Art Centre, Buttermouth Hall. There's a lot of people there, uh, principally, I suppose, Thea Gilmore, because she has just done this excellent album. Um, called Don't Stop Singing. Um, she found a load of old lyrics by Sandy Denny. Well, she didn't find them. But Sandy Denny's record company got in touch with her and said, We've got these lyrics. Do you want to put music to them? And uh, she has, and she's done a cracking job. So, I know it's a CD, but if you get a chance, cracking, get a copy. Also on CD, I know it's just been released on LP as well now, so I will get a copy on LP because it is that good. It is. The new album by Dexys, or as I formerly known, Dexys Midnight Runners. Um, so it's a lovely. I think John showed this, he probably has. Um, it's really good. Yeah, uh, they're from Birmingham as well, uh, where I'm from, up the area. So, local guys, but it's the first album for what, 20 odd years, so it's, it's, it's worth picking up. It is good, and it's on vinyl now as well, so if you can get it for a decent price, uh, you won't be, won't be disappointed. As a follow-on, actually, from the uh, Sandy Denny tribute he goes on about, just Jonas Policewoman was there, who I have heard before, but I didn't know any, any of her albums, but she had uh, some of her uh, people there selling albums, so I picked up a copy of this album, which is an extremely, well, I think it is anyway, dark album, but very good nonetheless. Uh, I'm sure you guys over in America have probably heard more of her than we have over here. I was introduced to her probably three years ago now by an old friend of mine in the Isle of Man and he lent me a couple of her albums. Uh, worth checking out? Yeah, definitely. Uh, bought this, haven't listened to it yet. Chet Baker and crew, it's still sealed. It's a 180 gram reissue I got from the Discery in Birmingham. Yep, I'm a big Chet Baker fan, but I haven't listened to that yet, so I feel a bit guilty. Um, it's just getting around to it sometimes, isn't it? I, I had a bit of a phase of buying too much as well, so there's a bit of a backlog, but I'm getting through it. Also, Charlie Feathers. There you are, Charlie. Pick this up from Hemsby, Rock and Roll Weekender. £10, it was sealed when I bought it, it's a lovely uh, reissue of what, all his recordings from 50, 55 to 57 or 58, something like that, all the best of them anyway. You know. yeah. I've got them on CD, but I fancy the vinyl issue. Um, I'm a big Rockabilly fan, as you probably know if you follow uh, some of my older videos. Uh, but yeah, can't turn that stuff down really. Uh, another couple of CD box sets I bought. I'm sorry for putting CDs in it. But 13th floor elevators, albums collection. It's very cheap. It's about nine pounds. Uh, three studio albums and a live album. Yeah. I've showed you before. Oh, I think I have anyway. I've got the LP um, reissue of all the, the albums and the artwork in there. Um, I imported that from America actually. But it's nice to have the CD version really because I don't want to play the LP ones too much so that they're in the box while well, keeping it in a nice, nice state really. Uh, I picked up this as well, uh, what we'll, we'll call for um, obvious reasons I suppose, I'll we'll call it an import. Um, this is Bob Dylan box set, or where is it, called Genuine Live 66. I got this from uh, friend of mine in Leicester and it is a CD box set of what? Every night of Dylan's 66 tour where he went electric so if I get some of the stuff out of here we have got some Dylan cards postcards and there's another one there Dylan with Telecaster uh, Dylan with Telecaster again and here's a little book, 
uh, Australian tour it says but also there's oh no sorry yeah that's the booklet that goes with the Australian CDs this is the booklet that goes I think with the, the British uh, tour dates and this here is what looks like a poster and yes it is a poster there he is Bob Dylan and the Hawks Something's happening here, World Tour, 9th of April 66 to 27th of May 66. And the Hawks, of course, as you know, uh, were the band, minus uh, Lee now on drums. Uh, so there you go. So the individual CDs, um, there you go. It's, they're quite nicely done, actually. I mean, the sound is not bad really for um, what they are and actually they're pretty good and there's the Albert Hall one or the genuine Albert Hall one so not the one in uh, Manchester but yeah they're all individually done it's nice to hear the tour as well you know, the, the electric tour the one goes electric everyone well it gets called a Judas it's kind of the old folk fans go away and uh, all disgruntled and then Dylan has his car accident, doesn't tour for a bit, comes back out on tour a few years later with the band, everybody loves him, this is the saviour of rock and roll and the greatest thing ever, but uh, that's life isn't it sometimes. Next up we've got something, I know uh, John Magnus has showed or Staff Sale is that music which I haven't listened to yet, um, I bought it because I was advised to buy it and I've heard bits of it, it's very good. But I haven't listened to it yet. Um, so I will listen to it. I'll let you know what it's like. I'm just not show you. We're like knocking about. And I picked this up as well. Inigo de Vida by, of course, Iron Butterfly. I don't actually own this. Well, I do now, uh, but I didn't own it, which was pretty shocking, really. I owned a live album. Um, but I saw this for a reasonable price. Uh, it's a reissue, obviously. It's cheap. But, sounds good. And I finally got a copy of it, so I'm happy. Um, what else have we got? Ooh. I think that's all for now, really. I've got a few more. I picked up some uh, Link to Bill LPs earlier on today. And I've got a, the Bruce Springsteen track CD box set finally. I've got had the 18 track CD for ages. and I saw the, the box set on uh, eBay cheap enough, new, sealed, so I picked it up, so that's that finished now, I've ticked that off my list, um, and yeah that's it, uh, thanks for watching again, it's nice to be back and hope I can make a few more, I know uh, me and John are planning a bit of a trip out, record shopping with his camera so we can uh, yeah, might have something interesting to show you. Do the record shots of uh, Manchester, I think. Yeah, so we'll be back on soon. I still enjoy watching all the videos and uh, thanks for your messages still. And yeah, it's great to be back. Cheers, guys. Bye bye.